friends and welcome back to the farmhouse. If you've been here a while, you know that we built this little shed back in 2020. It's been in this spot for four years now and we are so amazed how did we ever get along without it. And when I look back at pictures, it looks as if it's always been there. It was meant to be here and we love it. This build was our most watched video on this channel. So thank you to everyone who watched how we put ours together and the things that we've done. If you follow me on any sort of social media, you see a lot of pictures taken from the porch over towards the shed because when I'm standing on the back porch, I love to look out here at the shed. It is so wonderful. When I post on social media, I like to post pictures of the shed during all the seasons. I love looking off the porch out at this direction at the shed. It's just so cute and it just kind of lifts you up every time you look at it. But I have a secret. Unfortunately, this summer has gotten away from me and my poor little shed has not gotten the attention it deserves. In fact, I'm almost embarrassed to show you what it looks like around the shed. The weeds have taken over, it's overgrown, and now that things are slowing down, I really would like to stand on the porch and look out at the shed, especially for the upcoming seasons when things are changing fall and into winter. This is our first look, friends, and boy, is it just a mess. All of these weeds that have taken over. A lot of these weeds are volunteers from the bird feeder. There's wreath scrapes. There's a board missing from the door. Some of the paint, the doors are two different colors on the trim. There's just a lot of work to be done. So let's just jump in and get started. What I'm going to do first is some of our volunteers are broom corn and they make fun displays. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the tops and save them for a project. Then I'm going to start pulling weeds and I like to use a tarp to throw the weeds on it just makes it easier if you're dealing with a lot of weeds just throw them on the tarp and then pull the tarp across the grass it slides pretty easily that way that works best for me I'm putting on gloves because there is a lot of thistles or pickers in here so when I'm weeding and it looks like I'm not weeding with rhyme or reason. I'm actually getting out as many of the pickers as I can first and the bigger things so I can see what's going on in here. Like I said, there's plants in here from last year. I have some lambs here, some coreopsis, and I found some volunteer marigolds in here as well. And keep in mind when I'm doing this, the garden centers have closed for the year. There's no more annuals to be found to plant. So this entire project is going to be using what I have on hand. And thankfully, I was so blessed to have some things on hand to make this transformation for you. And once again, at the end, you'll see that it did turn out just lovely. I'm going to go ahead and cut up the uh, dead or already bloomed parts of this lamb's ear so I can see exactly how big the plant is that I have to deal with. And here are some of our little marigolds that have transplanted themselves or started from seed from last year. And I will be able to use them in part of this process. So I'm just gonna keep cleaning away and uh, do what I need to do. I'm gonna dig these out and plant them in some soil so we can reuse them later and just keep working.
let's see what plants we can gather up. I've already pulled the plants from this bed. There's a marigold. These never got planted. And here is another one. And I'm gonna take this grass. Let's see what we can plant to make it look a little better. Now I know these are thin and spindly, but I think once they're in the soil with some water and their roots can get into the soil and spread around, I think they'll liven up and be quite pretty and maybe we'll fill in with some other things as we go. But I think we have enough to plant to bring some color to this area.